Syria says Israeli airstrikes injured five across multiple sites near Homs yesterday. It marks the third night of strikes and a military base was reportedly among the targets. Syria claims to have incept, intercepted some of the incoming missiles, a claim that the nation's military often makes, but analysts are somewhat skeptical of. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says the target list included a military air brace, several Iranian militia positions, and a scientific research facility, while Western intelligence sources said the strikes hit multiple air bases, all of them staffed by Iranian soldiers. Last week on Thursday and Friday, more alleged Israeli strikes hit Damascus, including a Friday strike that killed two high-ranking Iranian Revolutionary Guard commanders. As a general rule, Israel does not comment on strikes, but the IAF has been waging an extended campaign against Iranian weapons shipments and growing influence near Israel's borders. And for more on this, we are joined by Dr. Eli Carmon, senior researcher at the Institute for Counterterrorism at Reichland University from Herzliya. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Carmon. Can you walk us through just how significant the past few days of airstrikes have been? Uh, good morning. Uh, it's indeed uh, quite uh, uh, different uh, attacks uh, compared with other ones because we, we had three attacks in four days and uh, uh, on quite important uh, uh, targets, uh, mainly Iranian and uh, pro-Iranian uh, Shia uh, militias, including Hezbollah, and also uh, in diverse uh, uh, places, in Damascus, the first ones, then in Aleppo, and uh, uh, this night, I think, in uh, uh, in the homes, and what's interesting in the homes area that uh, some of the attacks were targeting Hezbollah, Al Qusair bases. Well, we know that uh, since 2013, Hezbollah has built some uh, some kind of extraterritorial independent uh, infrastructure. Now, also what's very important is uh, uh, some Iranian uh, radars that have been provided to uh, Syria in the last uh, year or two. Uh, have been uh, targeted, destroyed, and even uh, Syrian anti-aerial uh, air bases, which tried to down Israeli planes attacking uh, uh, their territory. Uh, so we see a kind of concentration of effort, possibly because uh, during the uh, humanitarian support that uh, Iran provided, among other countries, to Syria after the earthquake uh, in December, uh, there was information that probably they used this uh, uh, attempt to uh, send humanitarian aid, but at the same time to send uh, uh, precise uh, uh, devices for their missiles or other technological uh, devices and also uh, heavy ammunition. Uh, so I think it's uh, quite a success uh, because uh, no uh, Israeli air uh, fighter has been touched and uh, the two uh, Iranian uh, uh, commanders, or uh, they are considered to be uh, advisors, have been killed. One of them uh, have been uh, uh, presented uh, either as a, a kind of expert in uh, precise missiles, but uh, also a kind of uh, co coordinator of uh, terrorist attacks abroad, including the last one in uh, uh, Athens, uh, foiled by the Israeli and the uh, uh, Greek uh, uh, intelligence. Now, what I find very interesting is the pace of these operations. They've never really been that rare, but to have this many in such a short time, it shows that Israel allegedly is very concerned about Iranian operations, and it shows that Iranian operations in the area have really taken on a much faster pace. What has emboldened Iran to operate so openly and flagrantly in recent months? Uh, again, this uh, is uh, uh, parallel to an Iranian effort uh, to try it all the time to, uh, to uh, send uh, some uh, support not only to the Syrians but also uh, to their own uh, uh, extraterritorial presence there and the Hezbollah presence. Perhaps because the Russians have uh, left in, uh, uh, in a sense uh, Syria, especially the Air Force. Uh, has left, uh, and many officers have left for the Ukrainian war, the Iranians feel uh, more free to act uh, inside Syria. And at the same time, Israel sees uh, the need uh, to neutralize uh, this uh, uh, effort of uh, Iran. Uh, what's interesting, at the same time, we saw that there were anti-American attacks by pro-Syrian uh, pro-Iranian uh, militias in northern Syria, and American response for the first time, a very serious American response, including uh, the death of some 10 
uh, the militias uh, members. And also, there is a, a kind of, uh, uh, if you want, a revival of serious uh, relations with the uh, Sunni moderate states, including with Egypt and uh, Saudi Arabia. So Syria is a very important, uh, uh, important platform, important country, actor in the region. And at the same time, the opposition, uh, which is uh, controlling Idlib province in northern Syria, is also attacking lately uh, the Syrian forces. And Daesh is more active in the last uh, weeks and months. So uh, Syria is not really a, a quiet country. Uh, the fight for the control of Syria, the fight for uh, neutralization mm -hmm. of uh, uh, opposition forces and uh, foreign forces like the Iranian forces is continuing. Yeah, thank you very much for breaking that down, Dr. Carmon.